Guys, I would give anything to go to Paris right now. And if I had to drop everything last minute and do a surprise trip, this is what I would pack. In my recent video, What to Wear in Paris in September, I showed you guys all of the beautiful inspiration that I have for what to wear in Paris, but I didn't actually share with you the exact pieces that I would take if I were going back. And so I thought it would be really fun to make a packing list for Paris video so that it could help you guys to figure out what to pack for Paris and how to plan your wardrobe so that you can look chic and elegant and put together without having to stress, overpack, forget something, and then just feel like you're not fitting in when you arrive in the fashion capital of the world. style elements to consider and colors to consider. Number one, you need to go with lighter weight fabrics that are gonna help you breathe while you're walking, that are easier to pack and that won't get kind of wrinkled or damaged in the packing process because of the weather and the climate there, you do want some stuff that you can layer up. So do consider things like cotton and silk and linen. Obviously, denim is one of those things that falls under cotton. So stick to lighter weight materials that you can layer up. Another thing to think about is your color palette when you're packing because you have such limited pieces of clothing that you do need to have items that marry really well together. So you wanna make sure that your color palette is pretty cohesive. Maybe try to stay away from lots of prints, lots of florals, lots of patterns. It's not that you can't add those things in, but definitely consider all solids because doing my 10 by 20, I realized that having an all solid capsule wardrobe is what made everything work together so very well. I'm not saying don't bring prints and patterns, but you know, maybe add a few things in at the last minute, but try to stick to solids. Try to stick to neutrals if at all possible. Neutrals meaning neutral for you. So you don't have to wear an all beige or an all black wardrobe. I have a foundation of those things like creams and browns and beiges and whites, black, gray, navy, and then have your pops of color that you can sprinkle in there to make things come together beautifully. And I do have a 10 day packing list for Paris download that you can get by clicking the link in the description box, which will include all of these things plus some more helpful practical pieces of like tech that you might need to consider are bringing and steamers and junk like that that always make your travel experience so much smoother. Tops and blouses. I would pack a plain white t-shirt, plain white tank top, a plain black tank top or a plain black t-shirt. You can obviously mix that up and choose whatever styles you like. I really love those cap sleeve t-shirts with a really lovely collar, but I also love a classic crew neck t-shirt. But I would definitely be packing all of my Target tank tops. I would pack my Target like cap sleeve tee that's really similar to this. And I would definitely be thinking about some other pieces, maybe like a body suit, like one bodysuit would be really nice. As far as blouses go, I would of course be packing my Cezanne Valentine lace blouse. I love that thing so much and it's been such a winner for me in my wardrobe and I can wear it in so many different ways. Why not bring it? Because if I'm gonna go fancy, go fancy. If I'm gonna go casual, go casual. I would also bring my old navy blue button up because that was another great winner for me. To round it out, I would be bringing my silk camisole with the lace detail and I would also bring like a silk button up of some kind, whether that was like a dark green, a black, a cream or even like a pinstripe you know button up I think those pieces will definitely marry well together and even just those items that I've listed so far seems like a lot but they're going to give you so many options it's not even funny As far as knitwear goes, I would be packing my new Old Navy set that I got for the challenge. I love that set. It is so versatile. It is very chic in my opinion and can be worn in lots of different ways. You can break the set up and you just feel put together when you're wearing a coordinated set. So even if you're just wearing jeans and a trench coat or a denim jacket, it looks so good. Depending on how the weather is while I'm in Paris, if it's cooler on the crisper side, I might pack a striped knitwear piece, but I might leave that one at home and just kind of browse the shops and see what's trending while I'm in Paris. However, I really love a good cashmere polo and that is definitely a piece I would consider packing if it was striped, if it was black or navy or even like a camel color, I think that would be really wonderful to pack as well. 
for my bottoms, I would 100% be bringing denim all the live long day. I would have my classic pair of light wash denim that are a straight leg. I would also bring a pair of high-waisted wide leg jeans that would either be black or dark wash. They could dress up really nicely or dress down really nicely. And then I would just leave it at that. I wouldn't bring another pair of jeans. I would instead go towards like a trouser. So you could do a casual dark trouser like the Saison Demon pants or you could do something that's a little more flowy and has less structure. Something that is comfortable to walk around in all day. I think that those bottoms would pretty much do it. And if you felt like packing a skirt or pair of shorts, by all means do so. I would probably stick to a skirt that was either denim, 100% denim, or I would go with something that's like a corduroy or tweed to mix things up a little bit. Then moving on to my outerwear, this is where things get a little tricky for me because I love outerwear and I want to bring all the outerwear pieces as humanly possible. <laughs> but I would try my hardest to scale back and to restrain myself from carrying 1,000 suitcases on the airplane. I would pick one blazer, one denim jacket, and a trench coat. A very, very lightweight trench coat, like the drape trench coat from Everlane would be perfect. So I would love something that would be like a gray blazer, double-breasted, wide lapel, with a really light pinstripe would be so chic in my opinion. The final section for my packing list for Paris would be an accessories and footwear section. Pack as little as possible in this department. Leave a bunch of purses at home. You probably will only need one handbag, one tote bag, and maybe, maybe a, an evening bag of some kind. So for me, I would actually bring my emotions tote bag from my Etsy shop, because I love that thing and I'm wearing it all the time right now. And I would bring my Chanel dupe right there. That's the J. Herbert Chanel dupe handbag. So I would bring those two handbags right there, and I personally would leave it there. I don't need anything else to get me through. When wearing jewelry in Paris, less is definitely more, and I would stick to some plain silver or plain gold, maybe a nice watch to track your steps, or just a classic timepiece, something really similar to maybe like a Cartier. I love that there are so many different brands now that are making beautiful watches that you could easily like, you know, showcase as a piece of jewelry. And then I would wear this pendant necklace from Louise Damas, and then I would just stick to some simple gold hoops or studs, maybe a nice pearl for fall or a silver beautiful hoop or bobble of some kind would be awesome. If you're wanting to keep things light and easy and simple, just stick to the most basic bare minimum jewelry and leave everything else at home. One pair of sunglasses is really all you need, so I would go with something classic like maybe some inspiration from Caroline Kennedy the set or Alexa Chung or even Chien Damas would be lovely. As far as footwear goes, I would say you do need one really solid pair of tennis shoes. So you could do like a Converse, a Gola, a Veja, or a Tree Torn, or even a Samba would be great. You are going to be doing so much walking while you're in Paris, so you have to bring a comfortable pair of walking shoes, and I would say a really comfortable pair of boots. If you really want to keep things simple, like just those two should do you fine. Maybe a pair of ballet flats would be a nice addition or like a strapped heel if you really plan on going somewhere fancy. No matter what you choose to pack, I really hope that you enjoy your trip to Paris. It is really about the city and all that it has to offer, not necessarily about what you're wearing. And of the many videos that I've created on my channel about what women are wearing in Paris or what to pack for Paris, I want you to keep in mind, I'm just one American woman who's offering her perspective. And I'm not telling you that you have to dress this way. This is just my interpretation of what I think is fashionable and stylish and what I think will actually help you to blend into the scene better, to feel more comfortable in your skin as you're walking around, people watching, sightseeing. But do keep in mind that Paris is 
the fashion capital of the world. This is a fun experience for you and you can dress up. If you can't dress up in Paris, where can you dress up? Fashion is fun. So have some fun with what you're packing. Don't feel like you have to play by the rules or draw in the lines. You can try lots of different neat styles out for yourself. Take notes while you're there. Make notes of how you want to improve your style and what you see people wearing in Paris. If I've left anything out, feel free to comment below. Are you going to Paris? Have you been recently to Europe or to Paris? Did this list help you at all? Is this even close to what you brought on your trip? I would love to know all the juicy details in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe because it helps this channel out so much. And as always, you guys, I love you all so much. I hope you're doing really, really well wherever you are, and I'll see you again next week.